Manga Wido. My name is Tatsuya Yoshioka. I'm 42 years old. I work in the sales department of an advertising firm. I know I'm not that great looking, but I'm married. This is my wife, Akimi. And this is my daughter, Reina. Reina and I are not related. Actually, Akimi was divorced once, and Reina is her daughter from her first marriage. Five years ago, I got to know Akimi at a bar I used to go to. I'm a single mom. My husband died from an illness. I'm living happily together with my daughter. She's in junior high now. I sympathized with Akimi. I too got divorced once and knew how tough it was to lose one's spouse. When I was in my mid-twenties, I had an arranged marriage through the recommendation of my aunt. I was pretty full of myself back then. Since you are my wife, I will ask you to live a frugal life like I am. It might sound good to say I was careful with how I spent money, but basically, I was stingy and I forced this on my ex-wife. Don't use too much water, don't go out to eat. I demanded many things from my ex-wife. I don't mean to make excuses for myself, but I wasn't born stingy. When I was a child, my family was poor. My dad worked overtime to support our family, and in the end, he died young from overwork. I became a stingy man because I always thought that he wouldn't have had to die if we had enough money. My ex-wife couldn't take it anymore and left me. I accepted her divorce without any argument. I don't want to make the same mistake again. If I'm fortunate enough to get married again, I will be a good husband and not be stingy anymore. That's what I had decided. After I got to know Akimi at the bar, I started dating Akimi, and we eventually got married. Reina was 13 years old at the time, but she also came to open herself up to me. I set myself a goal. I would do the opposite of what I did to my ex-wife. Akimi, you said before that you wanted a new bag, right? Here you are. I happened to be near the store. What? Wow, Takia, you remembered what I said? I'm so happy. Thank you. What? You got mom a present again? Dad, you aren't giving me anything today? Akimi was ecstatic to get a present. Of course, after that, I gave Reina a present too. My wife and daughter were happy. The house was filled with happiness. That's what I had wished for. That's what I thought. But, as the time went by, both Akimi and Reina became less and less considerate. They got used to receiving gifts from me, and they no longer were so happy when they got them. Oh, is that the latest makeup of the autumn season? That's nice. You got hold of it, although it's so popular. Uh, you too! That luxury outfit is also the latest one of the season! You sure got it fast! Hey, Tatsuya, please make sure to look at this fashion magazine later. I check the ones that I want. I'll put my magazine here too. The items that I want are on the pages that I folded. Thanks! Oh, okay. I'll take a look at them. It was as if they were competing with each other to get me to buy the latest makeup and clothes. Of course, I granted their requests as much as I could. I never want to be called a stingy man again. Because of that, I wasn't thinking clearly. A few years later, I was promoted and had lots of responsibility at work. I became pretty busy with work. When I got home, I would sleep a little and then go back to the office right away. I was gradually getting less and less time to look after my family. Hey, Tatsuya. You aren't really spending much of your time with us lately, are you? Akami came to say more and more often. Yeah, it's so terrible of you. You haven't bought me anything this month. Sorry, I'm busy these days. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Our sales aren't going well recently. When will you make it up to us? Akami screamed at me with a look of fury on her face. I was at a loss for words. I had never seen Akimi shout at me like this before. Family should be your priority, right? If you don't want to do that, we have other plans. It was from that time, both Akimi and Reina became very cold towards me, and they hardly did any house chores. There was very little conversation between us. We used to spend such good times together, but now the atmosphere inside our home was heavy and gloomy. Akimi didn't do my laundry or cook my meals. This went on for days. 
I became anxious that if I didn't listen to what Akemi and Reina wanted, they would avoid me altogether. So I did what they asked. Make sure to buy this outfit and that one. For my makeup, this one and that one. By tomorrow. I'm going out this weekend in this outfit. As for me, buy me the skirt. Got it? Hey, can you at least answer me? I decreased my workload in order to make time for them both. But at some point, I'd become nothing but their slaves. Hey, I'm hungry. Why are you so late getting dinner ready? You haven't been cleaning the house lately, have you? And you had a day off yesterday. Do you know what you're doing? I... Why am I putting up with such a terrible situation? For what? Now that I think about it, I was under such mental pressure and was at my wit's end. On top of that, my company was still not doing very well, and my salary had been reduced. I had nothing but anxiety for the future. And finally, that day came. When I came home one day, there was nobody home. What's this note? What? A trip to Hawaii? With Reina? Without asking me? A few days later, the two came back as if they had done nothing wrong. And one month later, there came a big problem. What? Why is the credit bill so expensive? The figure written on the bill was beyond what I had expected. My face was completely pale. I went to find Reina in her room to ask about the bill. Hey, when did you two get a hold of my credit card? And this amount? How on earth could you have spent so much money? What do you mean? What is wrong with this hotel fee? It's too expensive. It can't be for just you two. Oh, well, Dad was there with us. Uh, uh, oh, shoot. Dad? Hey, wait a minute. Who are you talking about? For the first time, I raised my voice at Reina as I demanded her an explanation. Well, the plan had been to meet up with my real dad. Your real father died from an illness, no? What? No way. After that, I was able to get the truth out of Reina. Apparently, Reina's real father wasn't Akemi's ex-husband who had died. Akemi had been having an affair back then, and Reina was a child between them. After that, Akemi met the guy by coincidence a year later. Since then, they'd been seeing each other again. Hell, what a loose woman she is. And I had no idea about it the whole time. How stupid I was! I truly regretted my marriage with Akemi. But I won't let her get away with this! First, I found out where Reina's real father was and talked to him straight out. He was also a businessman around the same age as me. What? I should give you consolation money? You two aren't exactly getting along, are you? At least, that's what I heard from Akemi. ...that he wasn't responsible for any of this. I seemed to be wasting my time with him, so I tried to talk it out with Akemi. Oh, Reina told you? Sorry, I won't have an affair anymore, okay? She had not the slightest sense of guilt or sincerity. It was then that I made up my mind. A few days later, I finished making my preparations and went out without telling Akemi or Reina. Of course, I didn't tell either of them where I was going. It was pathetic that a grown-up was running from home, but I had no choice. I suppose they thought it was quite suspicious that I wasn't coming back home. Akemi contacted me first. Where the hell are you? Why didn't you call? Is this your way of getting back at us for going on a trip? No, it's not like that. I just want to have some time alone. I will send you the living expenses. Oh, then it's fine, was what Akemi said. A healthy husband who was not at home was perfect for her. Actually, in terms of filing for a divorce, it's not that easy. Even if an affair is discovered, if the spouse shows some sign of regret, it's hard to get the process moving. That's why I decided to play it safe, because it was all for my plan. A few days later, at the hotel I was staying at, I saw that my laptop was showing me some interesting images. There he is. It's that guy! How dare he come into the house like that! No sign of regret at all! On my computer screen, I could see Akemi and that guy talking to each other and having a good time. The next day, I asked Akemi to meet me at a cafe and asked her for a divorce. A divorce? 
No way! What on earth are you thinking? I will never sign it! All right, then. How about you see this? I took out my phone and played that video I had recorded for her. He came to your place, right? Sorry about that. He's just my ATM. You're the only one for me. What is this? What is going on? Where is there such a video? I had hidden cameras in my home in all sorts of places before I left. Just as I had suspected, Akami had invited her lover to our house. No, no, that's not me! Oh, it's almost impressive that you can deny it even with the proof right in front of you. Well, I guess I'll take this to the police. Police? When you went on a trip to Hawaii with Reina, you took my credit card and used it, didn't you? I haven't forgotten that. You know that it can be considered a crime to take someone's credit card without their permission, even if it's a family member. Okay, okay! I'll return the money! So, please don't go to the police! Please! I'm happy to hear that. See you. After that, I ignored Akami's pleas and went to the police station to explain what had happened and reported the crime. After that, I hired a lawyer to begin the divorce proceedings. Akami didn't want a divorce, so I had to sue her. As a result, I was able to get a good amount of money as my consolation money. As for Akami, her lover got cold feet after he heard of the divorce proceedings, and she got dumped. I heard from Reina that Akami was working at nightclubs to pay for the consolation money and their living expenses. Dad, please! Please help me at least! If things go on like this, I'll also have to work at a nightclub! I hung up the phone. She was trying to betray her mother to save herself. Poor kid. I heard that not so long after, Reina also began working at a nightclub, like her mother. As for me, I used Reina's lover, that businessman, to secure myself a good job. I think I did pretty well for myself. Reina still sometimes calls me when she knows I'm done with work. I answer the phone once in about five calls or so. She's crying and asking for my help. I drink while I listen to her cry. I have a bad taste? <laughs> I think so as well. But after all that I had to go through, I think God will forgive me for my tiny revenge. <laughs>